Welcome back to Holder Flat and welcome to round one of the 2024 NI Summer Series where competitors will battle it out across eight rounds between April and October with the best six rounds counting towards the final championship standings. So let's kick things off here in Fermanagh as 112 crews prepare for competition round Inniskillen's St Angelo Airport. To the action we go, and it's the reigning Class 11 champion Aaron McLaughlin in the K-Rend Polo R5 that leads the way after Stage 1. The Cardona man breaks the beams to set a time 6 seconds faster than the rest. Second fastest in a rejuvenated I-20 R5 is Collar Wilson. Recent investigation work found a failing turbocharger amongst other issues with the KWP machine. But it's now singing its vicious tune once again. And Dad Kevin backs up all that work with third fastest time. The Wilson's father and son pairing are split by just 1.8 seconds. In fourth, 12 seconds off the pace, is the first of our non-R5 cars, Dermot McIlvaney in the Evo 9 who has chosen to stick two entries in for maximum seat time, which as we know, means he can't qualify for the overall result. It's great to see the spectacular Shea Rogers return in his rapid little GTE Nova. The Draperstown man is fastest two-wheel drive and fifth overall, just a second behind the McIlvaney Evo. Gary Lyons gets off to a tentative start in the Lyons Road Transport Fiesta Rally 2. Gary is sixth fastest, 14.9 off the lead. In seventh is our Class 7 leader, Michael Brazil, in his rapid rear wheel drive 205. The Impreza STI of Darren McGuinness in 8th, 2.1 seconds behind Brazil. And just 0.1 of a second behind McGuinness is Ryan Hunter, 
He sets an identical time of 4.10.2 to share ninth place with the leading 8 valve escort of Paul Flanagan. Stage 3 the weather is proving to be very changeable, but as the skies chop and change, the man at the top of the timesheets doesn't, as Aaron McLaughlin now extends his lead gap to nearly 32 seconds. And it's still the KWP Partitions and Ceilings car giving chase in second. But it's the boss man Kevin who has now inherited second place. <laughs> Gary Lyons is a man on the move setting a string of consistent times over 2 and 3 which are 10 seconds faster than his SS1 time. It's great progress from the Craig Avon man. It's still the McIlvaney Evo in fourth and Dermot is showing a great pace. Ryan Hunter is now our leading two wheel drive in fifth spot after the Rogers Nova hits trouble on stage two. But Ryan would need to keep the pace up as his nearest rival is now his class seven nemesis, Stefan McClelland, who after a terrible time on the opening stage, takes over five and a half seconds out of Hunter over stages two and three. 
this man's on a charge. And another man on a charge is a class 6 leader, Paul Flanagan. He's up two spots to seventh. With class 6 rival Hugh Watson a further six seconds back in eighth. Martin Collins is now the 16-16 valve leader in ninth place. And the Cleo of Ian Warnock now completes our overall top 10. we have it day one times are logged so it's time to look at the final results we start off with class one juniors and poor clone youngster Oshin Comfrey comes home in a great third place second place is off the county cabin with Kyle Drury but it's young James McShay son of Niall who takes the win here at round one in class two third place goes to Harlis Van Sotis Second place is going to James Kelly. And the winner in class two today is Kyle McHugh. Class three and the little swift of Connor McHugh comes home in third. Our reigning class three champion Andrew Black has to settle for second place today. But it's the Montgomery Motorsports Chevette of Neil Somerville who takes the class three victory. 
Class 4. Willie Fonnan has to sell for third place. Second place is a great finish for Nathan McGuigan. But it's Paul McLaughlin's Sunbeam who takes the spoils in Class 4. Class 5, the starlet of Keith Stewart comes home in third. Brendan Doherty takes second place. And it's another EG Civic this time, Martin Collins, who takes the class victory. Class 6, Terence McHugh puts on a spectacular show to take third. Second place goes home with Hugh Watson. And it was a stunning drive from Paul Flanagan to take the Class 6 win. In Class 7, Ryan McArlean takes third place. And it's another clear win second place. Ian Warnock does one better. And Ryan Hunter holds on after Stefan McClellan hits trouble. Ryan takes the Class 7 win. In Class 9, the Sierra of Nicholas Watt takes third place. Second place goes to the BMW of Conor Gillespie. And it's the reigning Class 9 champion Barry McIver who opens his points account for the summer in fine style. Class 10, Conal Cormick and Jeanique Proton takes third. Subaru of Paul Grady who takes second. And the other Subaru of Darren McGuinness who takes the Class 10 win. Now the big boys, Class 11, Gary Lyons takes third place. Kevin Wilson finishes second. But it was Aaron McLaughlin's day as he takes the R5 Rally 2 and WRC class victory. And here are the final standings with Aaron taking a commanding win from Kevin Wilson and Gary Lyons with Ryan Hunter, our fastest two-wheel drive, in fourth. That's it from another brilliant event from the RSA. Definitely the best one so far at St. Angelo, even with the testing conditions. Tune in next time for coverage of day two of the Crosscarts Minis and MX-5s. Until then, hold her flat. <laughs>